Well, I, I mean, I know I was incredibly naive. I thought it was going to be this, like, I hesitate to say, like, a vice. Into, like, I thought, you know, it's rehab, so people are going to be throwing chairs at each other, and it's crazy, and they're all on drugs. And what I didn't know, and what I learned, this huge thing that I learned, is that there's a period, and I think this is what the whole film is about, to me anyway, is there's a period of time between stopping doing drugs and feeling like you are a whole human being again. And that period can be years, it can be a lifetime. It's never just a day. Or, like, I thought people would, oh, you come off drugs and it's really hard, and then, you you know, like I've seen in train spotting, you're like, oh, it's terrible hours of pain, and then you're off drugs and you're fine. It's no, it's, it's you have to learn how to become back whole. on your feet, how to become whole. And that process mm -hmm. is something that nobody that's knows about. about. Yeah. And and that's what was so interesting. It was a totally different film than I honestly thought going in, but I'm, I'm really glad that I learned that and didn't make some stupid thing. I think we, we went in with our own you know, ideas of what a homeless shelter in Seattle would look like, what addiction meant. And you know, after we went through the program, we realized that really the most jarring thing is not you know, people throwing chairs over and uh, addiction, whatever. It's that there, there's, it looks surprisingly ordinary. Like the folks that are our subjects, the, there was nothing that there was nothing anywhere that was like, oh, those are a, a addicts, you know, that they're in recovery. That that just wasn't there. And and telling that story yeah, ended up being looked, the more provocative. Like, when we first got there, and and we were looking for, we were like, just look at this guy's covered in tattoos, and this person was all pretty, and and we were looking for the like addict look, the other person. And then what we found was there. I mean, there obviously it's a homeless person so you get all types, but a lot of the most interesting stories are people that really. Could be your aunt. It could be your mom. It could be your dad. It could be you. And they had this. They came from very successful backgrounds. Often it was all walks of life. This is what addiction is. The nature of recovery. 